Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Daniel Rosal here again, as per the usual. Someone just asked me on Twitter, uh, where can I buy M discs? So I believe the M disc revolution or the re renaissance will get underfoot at some point. Hence why I'm putting uh, these videos up on YouTube. I'm putting them into an M disc playlist, and uh, I've had recent exchanges with my friend W C Preston, host of host of the uh, Back It Up podcast. Restore It All podcast, I'm sorry, the world's only backup podcast. Curtis, to my surprise, is a fan of Optical Media over LTO for home users and is apparently doing an episode on it soon. So if you follow the Restore It All podcast, look out for that. Um, but as to where to buy M-Discs, so I've covered M-Discs in my previous videos. You, you probably know what they are if you've clicked into this. They're special archival grade uh, storage media intended for preserving data long, long term in cold offline storage without degradation. Very, very cool tech in my opinion, um, but certainly kind of a niche product now with the cloud uh, being such a big thing, but it's definitely still got a huge place in my opinion, especially given the massively high cost to entry of LTO tape. So anyway, to, to get to the basic question of where do you buy these things today? So yeah, they're definitely on the market, but then he also went out of business, the company that made these, and I spoke to the guy last week for an interview, but verbatim, which is certainly not out of business, uh, do make these things. So I bought mine on amazon.com and uh, I will show you guys the various M discs one can purchase. If I go for M discs, and you can see, you also need, as I mentioned, an M disc drive, but these are the ones that I bought, uh, these M disc BDR, 25 gigs, four times, they have a branded surface. You can get them in printable um, variety too. Um, there's not that much of a price difference. And you can get them, they have also the series of 1000 years archival storage. Um, I think the regular ones are supposed to last 100. So they have like pricier ones that are maybe like even, I don't know what the difference is exactly, right? But you can see they've got kind of a slightly different product line for this 1000. So for me, the 100 years are more than good enough. And the ones I actually bought from Amazon were in fact, uh, I believe, yeah, these guys. So um, that's basically Amazon. They have three, they come in 25 gigs, 50 gigs, and uh, 100 gigs. They come in spindles, they come in dual cases, but the spindles are cheaper from what I can tell, at least just looking, eyeballing those prices, 18 bucks for five versus 64 bucks for 25. You can even buy them individually or in a case box, right? So that's uh, Amazon. Where else uh, did I find? Uh, B&H sell M-Disc, which is not surprising because for photo and video, these things are very useful for archival. So I'm not the only video lunatic, it seems, who is buying these. And likewise, they sell the spindles um, for 256 bucks. Ah, but they're the 100 gig spindles, so that makes sense. Um, and where else? Just a couple of obscure websites I found here and there. Uh, also Walmart. So uh, if you're in the US, Walmart carry them and uh, basically Amazon, that would be my go-to. But if it, depending where you are in the world, search for M-Disc in your locality and I reckon you'll probably find a uh, retailer, of, a re reseller of uh, M-Discs. Now I wanted to also do answer one more question while, uh, while I was at it. And I thought I'd do a little cost comparison to try and investigate uh, whether it's actually cheaper I'm gonna just uh, zoom in so you guys can see what I found. So basically I took the main MDisc product on Amazon, which is the one that I've purchased. And I was just curious to know whether you're actually gonna get a cost saving if you buy the 100 gig MDiscs versus 25. So I've never claimed to be a mathematical genius. In fact, I'm pretty bad at mathematics. So I'm gonna show my workings just in case I manage to screw up. These are the number of discs, capacity per disc 25, 50, 100. The total storage is uh, these two multiplied together. So for a spindle of 25, you get yourself. And M-Disc is a pretty low capacity thing, as you can see, right? So even if you're buying the 100 gig M-Discs and 25 of them, you're only, you're only getting 2.5 terabytes of storage for 256 bucks. So relative to hard drives, it's much more expensive. Um, but you're getting uh, something that's supposed to be impervious to bit rot and Another advantage versus LTO is you don't have to buy a fancy drive. Well, you do have to buy a drive, but they're only about a hundred bucks versus an LTO drive that might set you back $3,000. So then as for the mathematics, these are the prices as of today. 
I then divided the uh, price by the total number of gigabytes on the disk. So uh, in my case, let me just see I did this right. Yeah, E2 over C2. So what you can see to my surprise, it's not actually cheaper to get the 100 gigs. So this is a 10 cent per gigabyte. This is 11, just rounding off these numbers, 11 cent per gigabyte. And this is 10, it, it, it's a tiny, tiny fraction cheaper, but really not significant. So it doesn't actually seem if you're, if you're trying to buy bigger M disks because you think it's gonna be cheaper, uh, it doesn't seem to me that that's actually the case. Instead, it's just maybe more convenient that you can uh, use, you can get more data on each disk. Therefore, you're gonna need to store less disks overall, but it won't actually be cheaper, uh, work out cheaper from a data standpoint. Quite unusually, because from what I understand or what I recall, HDDs, hard drives do have a sort of a diminishing cost as you go up there in storage. So this is uh, to answer the question of where to buy M disks in 2022 and a little price working. Hope this video was of interest. And until the next one, thanks for watching.